are movies just getting worse, which is why people don't really care to go see them? Or do people just not really have an interest in going to a movie theater anymore? different time now. The business, they make movies for specific uh, audiences as opposed to just making good movies. And that's why people stop going to the movies because most of the movies suck. Is cinema dying? It depends on who you ask, but there's one thing that almost everyone agrees on. Things are changing. In, in an age where most movies are referred to as content, I would say that 99% of most movies are, are, pretty, are pretty bad. So all of this has left Hollywood wondering, what the heck is going on? Like, why aren't people going to the theaters? Why aren't people seeing our movies? Is cinema really dead? Yes, boring Oscars sounded like the official death knell for American cinema. What I mean by that is that the American film industry has been on a very rapid path over the past few years towards total commercialization. Now there's this question that I've often pondered. What is a film? And what is a movie? Avengers! Assemble. More than fear, my observation is that uh, the filmmakers of substance need support. The problem is um, the uh, amusement park films. In effect, uh, they, they've got real cinema on the run. Inherently, they seem to be the same thing, but... Yeah! I'm walking here! I'm walking here! Are they? No. As the Austrian master filmmaker, Michael Haneke, puts it. Would you make a film about Hitler? No. Why? Aus dem Grund, weil man, weil man bestimmte Dinge, äh, ich, ich finde diese, ich finde auch, äh, setze ich mich vielleicht hier in die Nesseln, ich finde einen Film äh, wie äh, ein Spielberg-Film über das Konzentrationslager auch falsch. So, is Schindler's List a film or a movie? Is Steven Spielberg a movie maker or a filmmaker? And on a side note, did you know Christian Bell is Welsh? This is a Batman who absolutely is still warring with himself, but it's somebody who has come to have power. Um, I'm very appreciative of that. Um, uh, it's, uh... Welsh! Hey, Paul! Ah! I'm just confused at this point, but I digress. Back to the main point. Shall we, for a moment, objectively, talk about where the words originate from. Movie is short for moving picture. Before the term movie became popular, films were often referred to as moving pictures or motion pictures. Over time, moving pictures were shortened to movie and the term has stuck around ever since. The term film in the context of cinema, originates from the physical medium on which moving pictures were historically recorded and projected. The word film itself predates cinema and originates from the Old English, filming. Thus, the term film became synonymous, not just with the physical medium, but also with the content that was produced using it. Now, by just going through the exact definition of the words themselves, we can see they actually essentially mean the same thing. However, what the words have come to mean over time, their connotation, if you will, are wholly different. When we think movie, we think. When we think film, we think. Now in complete control of the government of the state, I made no campaign promises. Don't ask me about my business, Kate. Is it true? Don't ask me about my business. No! <laughs>
So, is this a movie or a film? Well, here I am. And what's this? You can get a steak here, Daddy O. Don't be a. Uh, what, what is this? You are lying. I never hit you. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! I mean, really, what, what is this? It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. This, oh, hey, this is weird. So, this is just problem. weird, surely. Making a clear distinction of the two would be a movie typically gives you an answer to the questions it poses. Normally with a loud <laughs> on-the-nose dialogue Kill Martha. and very overt acting. I mean, look, look at this. And most obviously, exposition dumps. We're computers. No. You get the point. Whereas film often have exceptional, subtle acting. I mean, look at this. This is brilliant. Could talk about this all day long, but we're going to move on. There are some directors whose work borders on being both. However, it must be clear that this is done purposely. There is the genius work of Michael Haneke. There was Tarantino, who purposely remixes and repurposes obscure and sometimes less obscure movies with the sole purpose of creating a film. Is he aware that he's doing that? Is he playing with the audience's perception of what a film and a movie is? Or as he says here, Because it's so much fun, Jan, get it! Okay, we've gone through all that. What about animation? What about musicals? What about TV shows? I mean, TV shows narratively have the same arcs as a movie and a film. Do they count? You're goddamn right. What would be a movie TV show? What would be a movie film? And what about adult films? <laughs> you know, you know what? She's right. She, she's right. She's right. Let's leave it there. The problem is um, the uh, amusement park films. Amusement park films. He means movies. In effect, uh, they, they've got real cinema. Real cinema. He means films. So, is there actually a difference between a film and a movie? What do you think? Do tell me in the comments. I feel like it's a subject that we could talk about for days and days in the comments, of course. And please do subscribe. Please take a minute out to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and it just shows me that you are having a great time. And I may even do a little poll on our community page where you can vote if you think there's a difference between a film and a movie. All right, so let's just look at this. Christian Bell, I'm so confused. All these accents aren't possible.